Hello, welcome back to the Life Cycle Assessment. LCA, Goal and Scope Definition, Part 2. This video will discuss about the scope. And under the scope we will look into the functional unit, data availability and depth of study, further definitions, further definitions to the scope. Next, it will also discuss about the illustration of the component, definition of goal and scope, using an example practice. So, let's get started. Did you guys know, what is functional unit? Functional unit. It is quantified description of the performance of product systems, for use as a reference unit. For example, lighting 10 square meters, with 3000 lux, for 50,000 hours, with daylight spectrum at 5600 K. How about reference flow? Let's find out together. Reference flow. It is quantified amount of products, including product parts, necessary for a specific product system to deliver the performance, described by the functional unit. For example, 15 daylight bulbs of 10,000 lumen, with a lifetime of 10,000 hours. The reference flow is the starting point for building a model of the product system. Next, moving to data availability and depth of study. How in goal and definition has been decided? Which data will presumably be available for the study? Who collects or computes them? How, if necessary, information on competitive products is to be procured? It has to be specified. For which processes primary data are to be procured? For which processes recourse to already existing data is possible? And lastly, which data have to be approximated by estimated values? Among the options to obtain meaningful statements with smaller data effort, mainly two are discussed. First, screening LCA. And second, simplified or streamlined LCA. Screening LCA. It is a rough estimation and assessment of environmental impacts by considering the most relevant materials and resources using average data. Simplified or streamlined LCA. It is techniques that purposely adopt any sort of simplifying approach to life cycle assessments or termed approach to life cycle assessments. Now, let's see further definition about. First, type of impact assessment. Second, critical review. And lastly, scope. Type of impact assessment. In LCIA, the data procured during the LCI analysis are assigned to impact categories. For example, global warming, climate change, acidification. This process is called classification. It has to be specified earlier within the scope definition which impact categories, indicators and characterization factors. The type of impact assessment influences the data procurement. For example, the impact category, acidification, cannot be quantified without data on emission of acids, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen fluoride, and acid-forming gases, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, ammonia. Critical Review The critical reviewers must answer the following questions. Are the methods used to carry out the LCA consistent with the International Standards ISO 14040 or ISO 14044? 
Are the methods used scientifically and technically valid? Is the data used appropriate and reasonable in relation to the goal of the study? Does the interpretation reflect the goal of the study and the limitations identified? Is the study report transparent and consistent? There are two options for the conduct of a critical review. First, accompanying, interactive, critical review. And second, critical review, a posteriori. Scope. Besides these issues that were discussed relatively in detail above, the International Standard 14044 additionally requires the following specifications for the task of definition of goal and scope. Allocation procedures. Restrictions. Methods for interpretation. And lastly, type and structure of the report intended. Before we moving to next topic, let's recap what we have discussed in this topic. Let's started. First question. Lighting 10 square meters with 3000 lux for 50,000 hours with daylight spectrum at 5600 K as example of A. Reference flow B. Functional unit C. Scope The answer is B. Functional unit Next Question 2. Rough estimation and assessment of environmental impacts by considering the most relevant materials and resources using average data is A. Screening LCA B. Simplified LCA C. Streamlined LCA The answer is A. Screening LCA And last question. Question 3. Which is not options for conduct of a critical review? A. Systematic literature review. B. Accompanying, interactive, critical review. C. Critical review, a posteriori. The answer is. A. Systematic literature review. Next topic. Illustration of the component, definition of goal and scope. Using an example practice. Are you ready? Let's start. The goal definition must answer questions, which, for every LCA conducted according to ISO 14040, ISO 14044, ensure the necessary transparency of the framework. There are four questions need to answer to define it. First. What is the objective of the study? Second, why is an LCA study conducted? Third, for whom will an LCA study be conducted? And lastly, are comparative assertions intended in the study? There are nine elements need to understand in the scope. Product systems. Technical system boundaries and cutoff criteria. Geographical System Boundary Temporal System Boundary Functional Unit and Reference Flow Data Availability and Depth of Study Type of Life Cycle Impact Assessment Methods of Interpretation Critical Review Product Systems Since transparency is a central requirement for all LCA studies, the product system, on the basis of the goal definition, is clearly described verbally and by a system flowchart. Technical system boundaries and cutoff criteria. Technical system boundaries. Inflows. Resources found in nature. Extracted from ground, air, water, biotic. Example. Crude oil, iron ore, water, biomass, land. Outflows. Emissions in nature. Emissions to air, water and soil. Landfilling problematic. Cutoff criteria. 
There are three possible cutoff criteria. 1. Mass. 2. Monetary value. 3. Environmental significance. Geographical system boundary. Describe geographical location of modeled system and set geographical data requirement. Temporal system boundary. For temporal system boundary, we need to define time period for the past, current, future assessment. And set temporal data requirement, for example, not older than 10 years. Functional unit and reference flow. This defines exactly what is to be considered for a determination of the reference flow of the entire packing system on the basis of the defined FU. Data availability and depth of study. It is indicated that statistic valuation is usually not possible for data from operational data acquisition, and thus, the accuracy of the data records can only insufficiently be defined. Type of life cycle impact assessment. At this stage impact categories to be considered are already defined. From this results the data set to be procured in the inventory analysis. Methods of interpretation. According to the definition of rules referring to the demarcation of the examined system to the system surrounding, rules have also been defined concerning the weighting of environmental loads in the phase interpretation. Critical review. Critical review is required for 1. Comparative assertions disclosed to the public. 2. Environmental product declarations. 3. LCI data sets. 4. Environmental management schemes. For further understanding, let's see this example. As the Earth goes round, you may have thought about our planet and what it needs most. A more sustainable future for everyone. And that's what everyone wants, including our friend Kim. Nothing like sleep to recharge the batteries. Fresh water reserves are increasingly scarce, on the planet and in Kim's home. And saving resources isn't exactly his strong point. From the looks of it, food resources are also scarce here. It's time to think about resupply. And it's difficult to choose from so many options. You may think that this yogurt container has a very short life between the supermarket and the trash can. But who said that's how the story ends? And who said the supermarket was the start? There have already been many phases in this product's life cycle, and many more are still to come. To better understand how this works and its impacts, a very efficient tool exists. The life cycle assessment. You want an example? Let's analyze the cycle of the very same yogurt pot. Everything starts with the extraction of the raw materials. Among other things, oil is used to make the plastic pot that will protect its contents. There's also the milk used to make the yogurt. The strawberry for flavor. the aluminum foil lid to seal in the product. There's lots of different processes. And each one has various kinds of impacts on the environment. And the cycle is only just beginning. 
At various moments, there's need for transportation. Then there's storage and distribution. It's a long way to reach the consumer. And like I said before, the story doesn't end with the trash can. The pot can be recycled and used to make a new product, with the cycle restarting or, more precisely, continuing. LCA provides a rigorous analysis of the environmental impacts of all stages of the production process. This analysis helps manufacturers make decisions that help improve processes, products and services. As you can see, every element of the universe, including ourselves, has a life cycle. Now that you've seen how it works, you won't be able to resist paying attention to the life cycle of every little thing around you and to compare the impacts that each product has in order to make conscientious choices. For real! This is list of reference I had use for this video. Don't forget to like this video. Comments. Share. And subscribe. That's all from me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some idea about the life cycle assessment, LCA, goal and scope definition.